this is a real insight we got into the president today. The Mueller investigation into Russian interference is done and dusted. And while it didn't exonerate the president, nor did it prove collusion, nor did it lead to an impeachment. And yet here we have a president, Donald Trump, who simply cannot let it lie. He is determined to get to the bottom of what he sees as a Democrat witch hunt against him. He's determined to prove that he won that election in 2016 under his own steam. And just as we've seen with the Ukrainian affair, here today is more evidence that Donald Trump is not afraid to use his position as president to try to attempt to persuade another foreign leader, in this case the Prime Minister of Australia, Scott Morrison, to do his bidding, all as a potential end to try and further Donald Trump's political gain. And just as we saw with the Ukrainian phone call, the contents of that conversation with Scott Morrison were so uncomfortable for White House officials that it's alleged that they sought to restrict access to the transcript to just a few small group of officials in order to limit any collateral damage. Russian interference in the U.S. election of 2016 is something that has dogged Donald Trump for much of his presidency. The Mueller inquiry is over and he's still in the White House, but he won't leave it there. He's long wanted his attorney general to investigate the origins of Mueller's probe, or witch hunt as he prefers to call it. And I hope he looks at the U.K. and I hope he looks at Australia and I hope he looks at Ukraine. I hope he looks at everything because there was a hoax that was perpetrated on our country. Hosting the Australian Prime Minister on a state visit last week, the President appeared to take a shine to Scott Morrison. It was information a Trump advisor gave to an Australian diplomat in a London pub that led to the Mueller inquiry in the first place. Now it's emerged that prior to the presidential pomp, privately Donald Trump had called Mr Morrison and asked for a favour. Could he help the U.S. Attorney General William Barr gather information, information that the president hopes might discredit the Mueller investigation? This is a president who is not shy about enlisting cabinet officials, his personal attorney, in trying to get information from foreign nations that the president can then use in domestic political battles, specifically in his re-election campaign. Asking for favours from foreign leaders for his own political gain is the reason President Trump is facing the fourth impeachment inquiry in U.S. history. That call was perfect. It couldn't have been nicer. His phone call with Ukraine's President Zelensky asking for an investigation into his 2020 rival Joe Biden so alarmed a whistleblower he reported the conversation and alleged attempts by the White House to cover it up. The Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in Italy today amid reports he was also on that call with President Zelensky. Mr Pompeo didn't dwell on that. He was busy being presented with a wedge of Parmesan cheese, a gift for the President, the reporter said, before being ushered off stage. Designed to be a joke about tariffs, the US has proposed on EU delicacies. An awkward encounter for the Secretary of State. He seems to be trying to avoid another one. He and other State Department officials have been subpoenaed over their dealings with Ukraine. He said that's Democrats trying to intimidate and bully and won't say if he'll comply by Friday. Nor will the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, who's also been issued with his own subpoena to appear before Congress. He didn't seem too bothered by it on yet another appearance on Fox News. Through it, I'll get all my evidence together, I'll get my charts. I don't know if they let me uh, use videotapes and tape recordings. If President Trump is worried, he certainly didn't show it on his Twitter feed.